Welcome to Mint. I am Anuja. In this edition of From the Newsroom, we are joined with us by Tarun Shukla. Welcome, Tarun. Joining us on the phone line is Mr. Jitendra Bhargav, former director with Air India. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. So today we are discussing the 30,000 crore bailout package for Air India, which expected to turn it profitable by 2018. However, the plans may fall flat with Air India's induction into Star Alliance not working out. My first question is to you, Tarun. What happens to Air India if the induction into Star Alliance does not work out? Uh, Air India's induction into Star Alliance was slated for 2011. Um, it, it was uh, stopped, um, and the airline was told it, it cannot enter it uh, in July last year. Mm -hmm. uh, the key, one of the key spokes of it, the turnaround, which will see the airline becoming profitable by 2021, uh, was entry into Star Alliance. Uh, when an airline enters into an alliance, uh, it gets feed from various other airlines, which it may not be able to get right now. Uh, since that incremental revenue will not be there, the the turnaround plan, the main one of the main spokes of that turnaround plan, falls flat. So the the whole issue becomes complex, and the aviation ministry and the Air India management need to relook re at the whole turnaround plan. Uh, where will it grow and and, and grow and uh, how will they be able to manage the the, the whole situation uh, when one of the spokes is not there? Uh, so so th 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 that's the issue at hand. My next question is to you, Mr. Bhargav. So where do you see this going for Air India as far as its turnaround plans are concerned? This turnaround plan that we have been talking about, which has, as it has taken almost three years since the Prime Minister spoke of support from the ramparts of the Red Fort on August 15, 2009, hasn't really made much of a difference on any of the performance parameters. Because if we in the airline industry, you need to be ensuring that you have a good on-time performance, a good load factor, revenues which are rising, enhanced aircraft utilization, but perhaps the kind of attention that was needed on Air India has not been given. The turnaround plan can be a success. There is no denying the fact Air India can still be revived. But for it to be successful, it has to be implemented properly. What we find is that no one is assuming ownership of the turnaround plan. So the first thing to be done is that somebody should assume ownership, be it the Minister of Civil Aviation or the Secretary of Civil Aviation or the Chairman of Air India or the entire Board of Directors. Because somebody must be held responsible if the objectives are not attained. Correct, sir. Speaking up from what Mr. Bhargav said, Tarun, uh, you know, what is the kind of impact that happens on Air India if it is not able to meet its turnaround milestone? Uh, if you look at Air India, it's, it's uh, having major issues financially. It doesn't have money to pay employees, oil companies, and so on and so forth. The turnaround plan was linked to government funding to the airline. If the airline is not able to meet annually those milestones, the government will not release funds, which basically means it will have oil companies, you know, uh, cutting off its oil supplies, uh, industrial action because the salaries will not be paid. And the whole uh, process that we have seen, the whole chaos that we have seen in the last two years in Air India will start uh, sort of uh, coming back to the fore. And uh, uh, we already ha know that Jet Airways, its main rival, has applied for uh, getting into Star Alliance to the aviation ministry. So not only will uh, Air India be hit with not uh, no revenues from uh, Star Alliance feed, it will also have the rival becoming much more stronger. So the airline will really need to uh, be in a sort of a chaotic situation which it needs to get out of if it needs to pay its salaries and oil companies and other people. So that is what it looks like. The government really needs to pull up its socks if it wants a viable Air India. Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Bhargav. Thank you. And thank you, Tarun, for coming here today. The, on that note, we end today's edition. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.